Hi, Vivai. Hi, thank you so much for joining us here. Before I introduce, uh, before I, of course, uh, throw the um, floor open to you, just wanted to say, guys, uh, it's a very special series, a special episode here on Unbud and Lions uh, with uh, Imran Tahir. Of course, you all, you all enjoy watching him on the field. He's a, he's a very exciting player, especially when he's focused and when he's celebrating. It's a joy to watch. So, um, of course, now the situation is a little different, but uh, Vivai, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank you very much for having uh, me. And uh, I just want to say Ramadan Mubarak to all my brothers and sisters from <clears throat> uh, all over the world. And uh, I hope everyone have a good Ramadan and we pray that uh, the difficulty we're going through, inshallah, it will uh, be over soon. Uh, Vivai, yes, we were wanted to wish you as well. Uh, I know you just uh, you know broke your fast as well. How is it going? How difficult has it been for you the last few weeks? Um, look, I think it's same as uh, with all the people all over the world. Um, we, I was, uh, I mean, I'm still in Pakistan. I was here uh, to play in PSL, and then um, um, and then obviously it got cancelled because of the corona and um, then i obviously stayed here two days extra and the flights got cancelled so we've been in the hotel and trying to follow the rules as much as we can and just trying to be staying in and obviously trying to stay safe um and that's um, it's been, that's been the story so far and we i mean we here in pakistan i'm just lucky that i'm here with my family so that's the really good thing. Otherwise, I think it could have been uh, quite difficult. Yeah, it's always it's good that uh, Smaya and Gibran are with you. Um, but uh, has it been a bit frustrating to anybody? Because we know how energetic you are. You like to keep yourself busy constantly. Uh, has that been frustrating? I think it has been a little bit. But I think I've been doing uh, all my exercises and running. <clears throat> We've been in the hotel. so. I just go to the car park, there is no one there, uh, and then I just trying to do my run, and then I've been doing all my exercises in my room. Uh, so yeah, just trying to keep busy myself, because I think otherwise uh, it becomes really boring uh, if you're just staying in and not doing anything. So yeah, um, that's the only thing I can do at the moment, and other than that, just uh, like I said, it's a Ramadan, very special month for us. So just been praying for, for my family and for people all over the world. and. Uh, like I said, you know, I hope that uh, we come out from this difficulty we're going through. How is Gibran taking it uh, in Dubai? Because, uh, you know, kids, of course, they get a little more restless than all of us. Uh, and it takes a while for them to understand what's happening. So how has he coped up with it? I think he's been he's been okay with it. Um, uh, you know, it is someday maybe he just uh, feel a little bit bored and uh, he's hard to him. In Tokyo, somewhere with a little bit no one around us. So, um, and I do that maybe just outside our room sometime. Uh, so, like I said, you know, you have to follow the uh, rules and then obviously trying to give him time as well. I think he's been a really good boy and uh, he's been uh, he's been listening what obviously we've been saying. Um, what's the one thing, I mean, apart from, of course, the cricket, you know, we all know how much we miss the miss the sport apart from that what is the one thing that you have you feel you miss the most during this uh, period of long time i think it's just the cricket to be honest with you <laughs> uh yeah um look i i really don't know because i just been playing consistently from i think last 18 20 seasons so which is not easy <laughs> to just sit at home but look i think it's just like any other thing um i the things happen in your life and you have to cope with it, you know. Um, so this is probably one of those things, a bit different, uh, which the world has never experienced before. But um, it's nice to see that everyone comes together and trying to help each other. So, uh, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's just really nice to see. Um, and um, I think that's what I need to look at from my side. Uh, if I can uh, see where I can help uh, and it, it's, it it doesn't have to be uh, on social media, uh, anywhere else. Uh, if I see anywhere in the area, if I find someone, I'm just trying to help. Uh, like I said, as far as I can go and help, um, I think I'm really up for it. Um, but yeah, look, um, um, it's, it's just been difficult for everyone. 
Uh, have you been in touch with any of your friends or cricketer friends uh, over the last few weeks, uh, Mivai? Um, not really. I've got a couple of friends here in Pakistan who I've been chatting to and uh, I've been talking to a few times Hashim Amla and that's it really. Uh, because once you're away from cricket, I think um, uh, it's it's quite hard to keep up with the people and I don't want to disturb anyone because they might be busy doing something. Um, but um, yeah, no, not really. No, it's just a general chat, how are you and how's things and stuff. Um, but other than that, uh, no, nothing. How is uh, Hashim? How are things back uh, in South Africa, back home? Um, yeah, I think it's quite strict. Yeah. Um, Nice evidence falling there, and I think it's all for the better of the country and people. And uh, 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 that's what I've heard so far because uh, uh, obviously talking to him, but we can't really wait to go back and uh, be at our home. Uh, but like I said, uh, we just need to be grateful, uh, be here at least uh, um, somewhere in the safe environment. Uh, we obviously, this opportunity, the reason why we're doing this, another reason, of course, uh, you guys to spread a bit of positivity everyone wants to you know there's been so many people asking to you know see you a chance to see you a chance to listen uh, to you talk so that's really nice and it's kind of you to of course to give us this time as well so just wanted to kind of uh, go back to some of the most um, uh, happy memories that we've had that you've had with the Chennai Super Kings that's of course one of the reasons why we're doing this um, first off how uh, you played for too many number of teams uh, all over. I'm not just talking about the Indian Premier League. All over the world, you've just been part of so many different fabrics and squads. So how was it kind of gelling into uh, a different sort of a team like Chennai Super Kings? Um, look, I I have to be honest on that. Um, I have a very big respect. Uh, and if you ask me about happy memories about Chennai, um, and I think the day I put the Chennai cap on, uh, that was the happiest, uh, I mean, you know, moment. Uh, it's one of the special moments in my life. And I I never knew I was going to be in such a special, uh, around special people in special mm-hmm. squad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look, I have highly respect uh, for my Chennai Super King team players and their families and, um, and the management and our owner. Um, and everybody really who involved uh, for Chennai, even the media people, including yourself, you know, so it's just the family and I never found, I think, anywhere in uh, any other team in franchise level. So, which I think uh, we do speak about all the cricketers and I think I share with them uh, always and I try to explain them how special it is. So, look, you know, it is it is very special. It's not only uh, for me, but it's uh, really close to my family's heart as well. And I think and my son, I think the only song he knows after Kosi Sike Leli, uh, the Chennai song, uh, which he sings, um, uh, well, used to be quite often, but I think he's missing this year. Um, I think otherwise you are the better person to know that he always sings when he's at the ground and uh, when, when I'm playing for Chennai. Yeah, I wanted in fact ask you, you of course, I mean, we all have seen how excited Gibran, I mean, Gibran gets and he's so uh, emotionally invested with everybody whom he becomes close and friendly to. We know that. Um, seeing him also interact with uh, all of the others in the Chennai Super Kings environment, whether it's other kids or players, you know, media people as well. Do you feel that uh, he is probably had the most uh, fun uh, during the Chennai Super Kings stint? Uh, definitely. Uh, that's why I said he remembers long. <laughs> So that's where you can imagine, like, you know, he he just he really loves it. Uh, and he always asks me when he's going to see all his friends. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think he's a bit sad this time. And uh, we had to celebrate his birthday here. Yes. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, but it was obviously special for him. We were all together uh, as a family. Uh, but obviously he missed uh, Chennai this year, definitely. Uh, does he remember the, uh, of course, we know how close he is to Will, particularly Watson's uh, son. Um, does he still kind of ask for where Will is when he's going to see Will next? Yes, yeah. Um, uh, he always asks about it. And like I said, that's why I think he was hoping 
that he's going to see him uh, uh, obviously for IPL. Um, he did ask me a couple of times and uh, Ken Watson was here playing uh, for Islamabad and then we we did speak about it and then just sadly in the end he said obviously the family is not traveling and uh, in the end everything got cancelled. But yeah, we do keep in contact uh, with them. Um, yeah, so it's just uh, nice to obviously always have contact with them and obviously talk about it, our wonderful memories uh, with Chennai. Uh, tell us about, uh, of course, um, your moments on the field. Uh, of course, I know you have a lot of routines, you know, because we used to meet uh, around at the breakfast table. Everyone used to eat together. You used to come, you used to have your own routine with your, you know, your bag of nuts and you're very particular about what you're eating. Um, tell us about those uh, little routines that you still uh, used to do during Chennai. Um, I think I'm still doing that. I'm just trying to be um, as healthy as I can. And I think uh, Ramzan, uh, that, uh, that's the month, obviously, teach us that uh, how we need to be disciplined in our life. Um, because there is a lot of people who I have seen with my own eyes uh, doesn't have food uh, living on the streets. And I think that's what obviously uh, show us that how important it is for us to know uh, the value of the food and uh, whatever we have. Uh, so we, we really, I'm, I'm very grateful uh, that, you know, what I have and I eat three times a day and I've seen people, shame, are digging in the bins and uh, trying to get food from there. So, which we're really sad to see, but obviously you always appreciate what you have. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm very strict with my diet. Um, and that's why I think uh, I end up playing with teens. Uh, also, tell us a bit, you know, uh, Eva, a lot of people, uh, I'm talking about the, if I ask about the Chennai Super Kings uh, environment, the dressing room, you know, everyone, there's some story about everybody, whether it's a bra- Bravo, even, you know, one of your South Africa teammates, Faf, they all are like more, like so uh, extrovert when it comes to, you know, expressing themselves in the dressing room, but there's no stories about you. you know, are you a very reserved, quiet person, even after a win in dressing room, are you, do you keep yourself? Um, I think I'm the loudest uh, when it's come to the team songs and trying to chat. Right. Uh, but I think um, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, probably I need to dance like Bravo to be like all over in the news. <laughs> uh, so uh, hopefully if this time IPL happen. Uh, I think I'm going to ask him for a couple of moves. Uh, but yeah, look, I think... Um, Chennai is the team. We just uh, very happy. Whoever um, enjoy themselves, we just enjoy with them, and uh, that's what Chennai is all about. You know, we happy for each other's success, and um, um, I think that's what Chennai is all about. Uh, also, I mean, by, uh, just tell us also how the whole um, atmosphere while traveling in the bus is because um, we have seen it, of course, because we are part of the whole uh, environment. You know, anywhere the Chennai bus goes, it doesn't have to be in Chennai. Any city, and there are people following all of you. They're waiting to see, take a, catch a glimpse of any of you, of course. Are you, have, have you ever been used to that kind of a fanfare anywhere? And what goes through your mind at that point? And what is the discussion in the team bus at that point, especially? Uh, no, I never ever experienced anything like that. Um, uh, the first time we had a parade, I think, uh, in Chennai, uh, when we left the hotel and uh, I was uh, um, on the roof uh, with all the players. Yeah. And um, it was unreal to see that the support people gave us. Um, just really grateful to everyone uh, who support Chennai. And uh, it was amazing. Some One of those things, uh, like I said, um, I actually never witnessed in my life. So it was very special feeling as a player. Um, but then obviously you know that you've got uh, uh, the best captain in your side, Mr. Mahi sitting um, and then it, that also was unbelievable to see like him and love the Chennai team. Uh, and we get that everywhere, like you said, you know, it's uh, it's just the uh, uh, respect people gave us and then uh, that's what we're trying to do in the field, you know, we're trying to play as as hard as we can. And um, just trying to win the games for Chennai, uh, as many games as we can. And um, um, I have no doubt whenever we played for Chennai, all of us, uh, whoever played, even we were sitting out, 
I think everyone tried their best and everyone pray for each other's success. And that's what uh, makes such a, uh, that's what makes Chennai such a special team. Uh, you know, um, this is of course a designated place for all of you to sit in the team bus, but is there, are you, are you superstitious at all? Uh, is there something that you like to do or a place that you like to sit in the bus or is, are there some other things, quirks that you kind of are very keen on doing uh, when it comes to preparing for a match or being for things? We, we normally have names on our seats, uh, yeah. which, which is um, um, very easy uh, to find your seat. But I think I am not that kind of guy. I think I can sit anywhere as long as I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, of course, do you, uh, there is this uh, nice little habit also of all the Chennai fans to kind of name all the, their favorite players. You know, if there's a Tala or a Chennai Tala for... MS and uh, Raina, there's also something for you. Are you? Do you remember what they call you? Yeah, it says uh, Sh- 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 Shakapati Express or something, I think. Parasakti Express, yes. Almost got it. Yeah, yes. 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 Yeah. Um, it's very interesting. Of course, there's a story behind everyone naming the players, of course. Uh, do you know why they named you Parasakti? Um, not sure. Maybe that's the quickest train in Chennai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good guess. So it is, of course, uh, because you run. Because you are uh, super energetic and you have to run right till the end of the boundary ropes. It's almost yeah. like that, yes. But it's also because um, Parasati is the name of a classic, a Tamil classic film um, starring Shivaji. is a all-time, uh, one of the all-time classic movies um, and heroes, of course. And he gives a dialogue, which is something to the effect of, you know, if you're running, you need to run right till you reach a goal. So probably that's the, you know, that's a nice little explanation that, you know, they have for the reason they name you that. Yeah, very kind of, uh, obviously, the people who call me that, because uh, um, I think whatever I do, even I run outside the stadium, I'm not going to be as famous as Rajni Khan. So... <laughs> <laughs> but but have you ever seen so Rajnikanth also has so many memes going for him do you know the amount of memes that are on you and your entire celebration and your cricket do you, have you seen any of those um, yes couple of them uh, <laughs> uh, it just make make me laugh but uh, for for me more importantly i think um, um, I just feel happy if people enjoying uh, as long as I'm not leaving any bad message, you know. So I'm just enjoying myself, and I think with that, people enjoying also. So which is nice to see. So um, and people have right to laugh, and people have right to make funny videos, which is absolutely fine. You know, it's actually a compliment, uh, anyway, because they if they can make something like that for Ajni, it's just a it's a note for uh, for a compliment because that I I mean that's how we all see it as. It's a compliment. When no, they... Yeah, no, that's very, like I said, that's very kind of people. Yeah. And uh, if, if obviously they're putting in that way. So yeah, I, it just makes me feel happy as well. It's not that I, I get sad, like, you know, yeah. I'm running around and <laughs> passing Bujal Khalifa or whatever after tower. So that's fine. Uh, that shows that I'm quicker than even Spider-Man. Exactly. And the, the other thing I want to show you, of course, and remind you, I'm sure you remember this, is it's not just, uh, you know, your fans who are doing this and who are kind of paying homage to your uh, eccentricities. It's also your teammates. And I want you to see this because I'm sure you'll remember this. I don't know if you can see this. This is, of course, Deepak Chahar. And he tried yeah. doing what you <laughs> you did as well. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. that? Do you remember that entire yeah. match? I did. I think he took one of the wicket and he came towards me and obviously he, started, he opened his arm and stuff. Yes, I think I, I kind of remember that, yes. Yeah. Uh, do your teammates often kind of talk to you about that and kind of tease you about that as well? Uh, yes, I think they do. But then uh, some of them uh, got used to it and some of them said, we're not going to run behind you. Uh, uh, so because that takes a lot of their energy. Um, so I don't blame them. I think it's just uh, me, the way I want to tell you, wickets and my success. And uh, But they're also happy, but it's just obviously that they don't want to get tired. Plus when it's especially so hot. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Uh, but your fondest memories um, during Chinese Super Kings in terms of, you know, playing with a lot of these guys, uh, 
tell us a bit about that uh, anyway um i and i'm i'm i want to be really honest on that i think every game i play for chennai uh, gives me uh, goosebumps and uh, really special feel feeling about it mm-hmm. and look we won so many games and uh, um i i mean i like to mention probably one or two game uh, that where i did well but i think uh, we just play as a team so well and uh, like i said uh, um and i believe that uh, um i'm i'm a kind of guy who's happy for the team than uh, my own performances and i think we won so many games so every game every play uh, it's been really special for me um yeah for me maybe couple of games i i got on few occasions maybe four three wickets and we won the game but that's fine but as long as uh, chennai super king is winning uh, i'm i think more happy than that uh, how is it like sharing a dressing room with faf whom you of course whom you've been part of in the national squad in an ipl team how different is that i i know you guys share a very nice cute rapo i keep seeing you guys interacting uh, uh, off the cricket field it's very sweet tell us a bit about that Yes um when I when I started in South Africa my cricket uh, I started uh, playing with Fa so yeah. uh, Fa has a very special place in my heart because I I take him as a brother uh, a really really good guy a very humble uh, guy mm. uh, and one uh, I've a lot of a lot of memories uh, which i shared with him all uh, and i'll share i will just keep in contact with him um, and if i think i do need um, some advice i definitely ask him because um, <clears throat> i feel um, he knows uh, really well about the game uh yeah sharing with him uh, when we play for chennai it's uh, it's really amazing uh, because he uh, i think all, always remember before i come to chennai he said it's a very special team and uh, how the setup is and how the people are but i think i only found out when obviously i got in and i'm just uh, i just feel i'm very lucky to be part of this team and share a changing room with my uh, brother faf uh you know again and uh, yeah you know we we do have a lot of uh, chat um after the games and stuff and it's just uh, i mean really really good to know that you know south african captain is playing with me for chennai and it's just a really special thing uh is there any any nickname that you have uh, in the in the south africa dressing room that's different than you by from here yes i call him franz wall uh, i don't know why uh, and uh, sometime duplicino and i think he he knows about it uh, so yeah so like i said you know we share a few jokes and stuff and uh, yeah it's just, it's just really nice to play with him wherever obviously i will and share the changing room how does he call you or how does the south africa team call you is there any nickname for you um few people call me imza few call me imi bhai yeah uh, so some call me bud <laughs> uh why uh bud is like a mate uh, like oh, a friend in i think yeah. I, yes how are you bud so it's nice um, so um to hear that um, yeah it's all different words but i think bud is one of my favorite you know we showed you just some moments back we showed you a picture an image of of course you and uh, deepak chahar from one of the matches this is something like very cute of course and would like you to uh, take us through it because we were of course there it was after a match it was after a win and uh, this is i mean you need to speak about this moment because it's a very very cute uh, okay you need to be able to see yeah okay uh, can you i can see that you can see right yeah yes yeah it is um, it is very special moment for my son and we are really grateful to my bhai um, and you know uh, I don't have to say I mean you know what a wonderful guy he is and what a wonderful captain he is um he's also a great human being um that inspire me more about him uh, and his family yeah um I'm just so happy that uh, um he always uh, give uh, messages about Gibran on his birthdays which we missed that this year 
and yeah you know playing with him um, uh, i'm sure jibran will uh, see it one day and uh, you know he'll be i'm i'm not sure if i was jibran that i probably get goosebumps growing up like you know i played with ms dhoni uh, one of the world's best captain uh, so um you know it's just really really good of him to interact with the kids and the way he's been carrying himself around people it's unbelievable to see and i mean you know uh, personally i have lots and lots of respect for him and uh, we always keep him and all the chennai people in our prayers um that's really sweet uh, i mean when we know how close you are and how fond you are of everybody uh, just reliving some of the moments that you've uh, that we've seen you uh, be a part of uh, with, without the ball of course with the bat uh, 2018 uh, when kedar hit the winning runs of course you were at the non striker end you were so excited take us through that as well please Yes, so uh, first I was uh, batting with Bravo and I think no one yeah. in the world uh, have faith in us that we're going to win that game. So I was just telling Bravo that, like you know that you you are the guy who's done it on many occasions before. Mm-hmm. Um so I just reminded him that and I was keep reminding him and I was like you know I, I'm just trying to, I'm kind of that guy I'm very passionate about the game and I believe that you only can lose if you give up um and then I, that's what I was just been keep telling him and firstly he started hitting and then all of a sudden the game was changed and um, on that uh, moment I clearly remember I thought he's going to finish the game and he played a uh, shot and then he got out and I was like so angry because we won inside i was angry but i went and i tabbed him and i hugged him and i said no listen you obviously did your job you know you you mm-hmm. took us very far we nearly there um and i said to kedar even i said kedar bhai if you want me to run trust me i'm going to run a, you never seen me like that before if you want to take two i am ready but you are the guy who can hit six uh, i definitely try but i think you got more chance than me so you need to be on stride and wait for the ball uh, and if you don't want to run you don't know. i'm uh, i'm sure you know that he he torn his hamstring in that yeah game. yeah he had yeah couldn't run but then i told him i said you have to run if we need to uh, and even your legs come out you have to do it uh, and uh, some something like that you know very yeah. similar to that what i said to him and uh, he is very calm and relaxed he was just I don't know he's Mr like a very cool and like mm-hmm. okay that's fine in me bhai and then he hit that six mm-hmm. and I just went to him and I said listen yes kedar bhai uh, you are the man you will do it uh, and then he did it so it was uh, well I didn't have much part uh, to play obviously with my bat but look uh, the only thing I can think of for the team uh, if I'm batting with someone even the bravo he's probably more experienced than me uh, and then he played so many tough games and he won games for his teams yeah so i just thought you know i just share my experience with him trying to give him confidence or uh, maybe you, you always need something from someone uh, especially when you playing uh, and especially when you playing for each other yeah. uh, and that's what i did but i'm i'm really happy that we won that game because uh, i deeply know in my heart no one uh, thought that we won our game that but uh, what kind of a partner at the other end when it comes to batting are you do you like chatting quite a bit do you like talking about the game or something else of course you will be there in tense situations towards the end of a match on a shorter format of course but uh, what kind of a batting partner are you i think i probably i say quiet because i obviously goes to number 10 number 11 and that's where you just need to focus if you if you batting with the batter you just trying to concentrate to get give him a one run so make sure he finish the job uh, mm-hmm. then you and then i think if i think that on the other end the guy like me batting then i think i say no i'm going for it <laughs> <laughs> nice no very nice but then from uh, we've also been asking certain players as well uh, you bhai we've been asking who's the who's the player who's very tense when it comes to sitting in the dugout and watching a match that is going down to the wire are you a tense watcher of the game um uh, i am maybe uh, kind of but i don't show it so i control my emotions it's not that i'm going to grab a glass and hit it on someone's head you know i'm not that kind of guy <laughs> you're like bye bye okay we don't know what's happening there but something is going to like the head 
Yes, yeah, yeah. Probably I, I'm <clears throat> I'm not on that level, but yes, yeah, because uh, his head got something special in it, and um, we probably never gonna find that out. But yeah, look, you know, you always at least get something out from him. But yeah, no, look, I I just uh, I just trying to watch the game and enjoy and see how my teammates. Uh, taking us through uh, obviously on the winning side and i think that's just give me joy but obviously when it's come to the close game you i mean i'm human so you always get tense a little bit just a couple of questions before we let you go of course uh, you why you've taken quite a bit of your time um any fond memories or incidents or anecdotes that you would like to share with any csk teammate um that you still remember any um fond maybe a lunch or a breakfast or something that you kind of want to tell us about I think there will be a few breakfast I, I would like to share and I think uh, it's very kind of uh, Chennai management and the hotel uh, we stay in um, all their management they've been really kind to us so obviously kind of thanks to them as well we very gra- grateful to them they've been very kind to us and give our breakfast till 12 which is a lunch time uh, <laughs> uh so so obviously i think that's the only thing i can share with regarding my breakfast stories um um yeah look it's just really nice um every time we ask for something they just keep bringing it so thank you very much guys uh, you guys have been really kind awesome uh, you guys very very nice uh, uh, any any message or thoughts for the fans many fans who, who are watching this uh, would be would be really nice um yeah look to the fans uh, like i always say thank you very much for your support uh, obviously said what's happening around the world uh, i just think that you guys need to follow the rules and then just stay at home stay safe uh, think about your families uh, that's the firstly and most important thing um and please keep supporting chennai and hopefully we come to the stage when we start playing uh, and we give our heart and blood again for you guys and that's the promise uh, um we can do and i can't say i because um uh, it's it's for chennai and everyone who play for chennai they give everything so uh, thank you very much uh, for everyone who support us thank you so much me bhai and of course a uh, lot of love to uh, sumaya and uh, jibran from all of us uh, we know you guys are really really um fighting it out there and uh, hope to really uh, inshallah hope to see you soon we, we hope you all see meet each other Thank you very much and I can't wait to do the visa photo with my family. Awesome. Yes, now can we wait to see you guys out uh, on the field and uh, with us back again. Thank you so much Jimmy bhai and uh, thanks really for giving us this time. Yeah, thank you and uh, we love you and miss you. There is Jibran. Oh, Jib Gypsy. <laughs> oh, Gypsy. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I know he's really excited and I'm I'm we're all excited. We're hoping to see him as well. Yeah, no. Thank you very much Rupa. You look after yourself. Yeah, Take thank you. You too. Yeah, love to the family from us. Thanks. Absolutely, bye. Bye. Bye.